Hey, this is Karthik with Dabble Lab, and in this video, I'm going to walk through how to use Alexa's newly launched customer profile API to get the user's name, email, or mobile number. Well, before the customer profile API, if you wanted to use information about a user in your skill, you had to either get the user to log in using account linking or prompt them for information you needed and then save it in a database like DynamoDB for later use. With this new API though, Amazon has streamlined the entire workflow so you can get a user's mobile number, name, email or email it, uh, first name without much effort. So let's jump right in and get started. We are going to be using a template from skilltemplates.com which has a collection of templates um, that makes it easy to get started with Alexa development. All you need to use the templates is a free account on skilltemplates.com. Now let's jump right into our terminal and get started. What we are going to be doing is create a new Alexa skill using the Alexa skills kit. So I'm going to type in here ask new template followed by the URL which in this case happens to be skilltemplates.com slash templates.json. Now you can see this gives us a list of options to choose from. We are going to be using the customer profile API starter. This will now initialize the Alexa skill template and you can now see that the customer profile API starter has been created based on the template. Now let's quickly look into the code here. So there we go. The code has been cloned into our machine and it's all available here. Now before we dig any deeper into the code, let's deploy the skill quickly and see how it works. So I'm just going to go inside this folder and type in ASK deploy. Now I'm going to fo fast forward uh, to the skill being deployed. Alright, so now you can see that the skill has been deployed. So let's just go ahead and test it out. So I'll go to my Alexa developer console. And you can see here the customer profile API starter has come up. Let's click on it and let's go to the text test session. I'll go to the test section here. And type here Alexa ask greeter which is the name of my skill to greet me. Please enable profile permissions in the Amazon Alexa app. Now if you see it's asking for permissions and the way you would do that is by enabling the permissions on the companion app when you activate your skill. However, while testing it on the simulator, you have to head over to alexa.amazon.com, click on skills here and then go to your skills. all skills and choose your skill here which is customer profile api starter go to settings now this is where you would manage the permissions let's click on manage permissions it's going to ask me for my password one more time i'm just going to log in here now after i have logged in and i came back the customer profile api starter skill is requesting the following permissions so you can see it's asking for email address let's turn that on the full name and mobile number now let's click on save permissions and the settings have been updated now let's go back here and let's try this again alexa ask greeter to greet me hello karthik ragubathy well you can also do something like alexa ask greeter what is my mobile number hello your mobile number is 950-353-6106 all right so now that we have an idea of how the skill works let's dig into the code a little bit and see what happens under the hood All right. So here, let's first get into our index.js file. Now, right off the bat, you would see that there are a few handlers here, like the greet me intent handler, 
this is the email intent handler and then the mobile intent handler now the greet me intent handler is for the profile name the email is for getting the user's email and the mobile is for getting the mobile number of the user we are going to go through the greet me intent handler but the code for email and mobile is almost the same so starting with this line here you can see that we are using something called as a service client factory dot get ups service client now the service client factory is responsible for interfacing with the alexa sdk and getting all the information about the profile api so once you've created a variable which uh, gets the value from service client factory the next thing that you would do is do something like await ups service client dot get profile name now for the mobile number you would do something like get profile mobile number and for the email you would do something like get profile email now once we have done that the next thing that we would do is just ask alexa to speak it that is with the help of response builder you just ask to speak and that's what we seen the seen in the demo here it, it speaks out my name here right and now what we would do is there might be times when the user might not have given the permissions so we will wrap this entire code inside a try catch block so if if it's if the permissions have been granted speak it but in case there are some permissions issues just catch the error and then ask for permissions all right so now now that now that we are uh, very familiar with the greet me intent handler the code for email and mobile number is almost the same now before we complete the code let's just go inside the skill.json file and see what else we have done here so one of the things that we have done here is we have used permissions and we have used here define the permissions here so you can see alexa profile email read for reading the user's email the name for profile uh, for the user's name and mobile number for the user's mobile number now one of the things that uh, the customer profile api also gives is the user's given name that is usually the first name but now what happens is if you try to use name as well as first name together alexa won't let you deploy the skill so you have to use either name or the first name together and the way you would use the first name permission is that you would use given underscore name read instead of name underscore name colon read all right so that's all about the code using this api you can provide a more personalized experience for the users for example uh, you can use this api to book a hotel reservation using the name permission and then email them a confirmation or say send a link to the mobile number to continue the site booking online now that's all about the customer profile api if you did find this video helpful, please like it and subscribe to the Dabble Lab YouTube channel. Also, if you have any questions, please leave those in the comment. And again, you can get all of the code I showed you on skilltemplates.com. Thank you.